In example four, we're given this polynomial function and asked to describe the end behavior. So starting out by looking and making sure that this is written in descending order, which it is, because I need to find the degree and the leading coefficient. The degree is six. So I know that this is an even number. So it may or may not have zeros, just as an aside. Now, talking about <clears throat> now talking about leading uh, the leading coefficient and the degree in a little more detail. The degree being even tells me that both ends will be up or both ends will be down, okay? So I know that both ends are going to go in the same direction with this polynomial. The leading coefficient here is 5, and that's positive. So um, since it's positive, both ends of the graph go upward. Just like with a parabola with a positive leading coefficient with quadratic functions. So this is to the 6, so it's going to it's going to be more complex, but just schematically the idea is that and it may or may not have zeros. <clears throat> the idea is that both ends will face up. Now, what does that tell me about the end behavior? What this tells me about end behavior is that when x is large, way out here, y is large, or the function is large. When x is very small, way out here, has small values, y is large. So at the ends, at both ends, x very large or x very small, the function has large values. And that tells me about the end behavior. And I was able to figure that out by realizing this is an even degree and it is a positive leading coefficient. Okay, that concludes this lesson of educator.com on graphing and polynomials.